This trip started with a stop by Cascadia Vehicle Tents in Bend, Oregon. I had a friend coming to town and we were going camping for a few days. I wanted her to have her own space, so I went to CVT to pick up a tent and trailer. The guys at CVT were great, and they got the trailer all set up, and they even added an awning for me to try. After getting all set up at CVT, I met up with my friend Wendy and our first stop was Smith Rock State Park. This is a very popular hiking and rock climbing destination in Central Oregon. It's also a great place to do some landscape photography. We spent our first evening at Skull Hollow Campground, mainly because it was close and easy to get to from Smith Rock. Paid camps are not my favorite, so we didn't plan to stay long. After some breakfast, we put away our tents and loaded our gear back into the trailer and started making our way into the Cascade Mountains. One of the things I grew to really like about the little trailer was how easy it was to move around by hand. It really allowed us the flexibility to set up our camps exactly the way we wanted. Other than being twice as big, the Denali tent was just as easy to set up as my smaller Mount Shasta. Besides the tent and trailer, CBT had sent us out with some other gear. Table and chair set, solar light, and portable shower. Being this was the first time I'd set any of this stuff up, I found the directions that were sewn into all the storage bags intuitive and easy to follow. Wendy had came to visit so she could spend some time doing some landscape photography with me. But I had just received a new piece of camera gear that I was very anxious to try out. So I convinced Wendy to do some modeling for me. All right guys, so I know this is way different than what you guys are typically used to and typically I'm out trying to do some landscape photography. Today I'm kind of doing that, but since I have the beautiful Wendy with me today, uh, I got my new uh, Flashpoint Explorer 600 um, monolight and I thought this would be a great opportunity since she was visiting to try to get some portrait shots. Now I didn't want to just do it any type of portrait shot so we've hiked out here to this uh, backcountry lake. Uh, you have to hike about a mile from the trailhead to get back to this lake and we're shooting these shots and I mean I'm telling you what they're coming out really gorgeous. The scenery is absolutely beautiful. Wendy's gorgeous. Everything is uh, this is really a lot of fun. 
Convincing Winnie to do this wasn't easy. She had recently had a fight with cancer, and though she had won that fight, the medication had caused some weight gain and depression. And she wasn't convinced that she would make an attractive model for me. But I think she came out looking amazing. The afternoon was heating up and we decided to make a stop at Big Lake and cool off a bit. Big Lake is pretty popular and it was nice that our CVT setup was small, which made it easy to find a place to park. After leaving Big Lake, we hit the old Santa Am Wagon Road, which was the main road back in the day for the settlers to get across the Cascade Mountain Range. Taking this road was a good way to test how the trailer would handle on rougher track. Alright, so we've made it to our uh, third camp of this trip. Uh, we're currently camped in a little spot here on the uh, Metolius River. We're just up on a, on a hill here and we've got a nice little trail that takes us right down and takes us out onto the Metolius. Uh, we've got both CBTs all set up. But yeah, we're both kind of tired, I think, tonight, and uh, I think we're just going to kind of enjoy this fire and relax and and uh, just enjoy being out in a, in a beautiful place.
time packing up, we were starting to get pretty efficient at it. Our next stop was going to be Crater Lake, which was a few hours away, and we wanted to get an early start, but I couldn't help but take a small detour and send the trailer through one more obstacle. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to start packing up. We're on the end of our uh, four or five day trip here. Uh, it's been an absolutely amazing trip. We've, we hit a lot of locations and checked out a lot of places and stayed in a lot of uh, cool camps. Uh, really enjoyed using the CVT trailer and having the tent. Uh, how did you enjoy your stay in the tent? I loved it. It was very spacious, um, lots of room. It was good. I was comfortable. And Someone had to wake me up every night, every morning. So I had, yeah, yeah. I'd like to get it. I'd like to get around to get going. So I, I'd, <laughs> I'd be over there knocking. Are you up? Are you up? <laughs> um, so, anyways, yeah, it was great. I really, you know, I thought pulling the trailer around for the types of trips that I do and the areas that I go, and you know, and the and the types of roads that I go that I go on, you know, aren't always like the most aggressive overland four wheel drive roads, but some of them can be definitely. Um, very uh, technical and so but the trailer had no problem we went through the river crossing everything was great and I really liked the, how lightweight the trailer is as far as when we get to camp we could just pop the trailer off and, and position it however we wanted so that our camp was set the way we wanted uh, we also got some you know the other some other gear we had the shower we had the table and chairs the light um, that CBT gave us uh, to use while we're out here, and out of all those things that were, they were cool. But I felt like one of those objects really stood out uh, to me. Which one do you think that is? The light. Yes, the light was awesome. Um, I really liked it, uh, especially last night. We got here uh, late. We got here around uh, 10 at night, and it was dark. But I just pulled the light out and turned the main light on, and it just flooded the whole area, giving us plenty of light to set up the tents and get things going. Plus, I really like the versatility of the little lights that are on there. You can just pop them off. They're magnetic, so you can pop them on to any area uh, of the trucks or whatever that you need to get extra light in certain areas. So I just thought it was super versatile, and I'm, I'm going to keep that light. I'm not, uh, not going to return it. I'm going to keep that light because it's just such a useful... I just found it so useful uh, around camp, and it will really actually be very helpful for me when I'm filming for you guys. That it will allow me to get some more light on the camp and when it's dark out. But another thing I want to tell, tell you guys too is with, with, these CBT, with the CBT, like the trailer and the stuff that we have, they have a try it before you buy it program. And so you can take it out, you can rent it, take the, the equipment out, try it out, and if you do like it, half of your rental fee 
uh, goes towards your purchase. So I think that's a really cool program that they have and allows you to go out and make sure that the unit or whatever that you're wanting to take out is, is right for you. And, and then when you come back, you know, a lot of that money will go towards, goes towards your purchase. So um, I definitely encourage you guys, if you're in the Bend, Oregon area, to check out uh, CBT. And also they're opening, or I think they already have opened, a new store in Chan Chan uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. So if you're in that area, check them out there. They have a lot of uh, other overland, not just the tents and the trailer, but they have a lot of other overland accessories. And, and if you're really into it, I think you should definitely check it out. But we have to get going. Uh, we have to do have to get this back today, and I'm going zip lining uh, here in about a half an hour. So me and Wendy will see you guys again outside. Bye. I really want to thank you for watching this video. Please take the time to like, comment, and share, as your interaction really motivates me to continue to produce this type of content. If you'd like to become a sponsor of the channel. Click the Patreon link in the description to find out how.